Welcome to the next journey on the Here's to Us. We are in a rejuvenated downtown Buffalo at Canal Side where they've done a fabulous job of taking care of things and you can just feel the energy down here on Memorial Day weekend. Downtown Buffalo, New York. We had a great stay here. Everything was so convenient to walk to. We are docked next to that impressive ship. is the USS Little Rock and we're getting ready to head out as we head out to Lake Erie over here on the right hand side is another marina called uh, Erie Basin so that's another option that you could stay at if you do decide to come to Buffalo we spent a great couple days in downtown Buffalo, New York, at a marina called Canal Side, which is really centrally located for a lot of things. They have a Tim Hortons there, and a military museum, and park, a beautiful place downtown. So we are heading to Erie, specifically Wolverine Marina. And it's about an 80 mile jaunt today and the lake has calmed down over the last couple days there were reports of 14 foot waves so it seems like a nice day today about one foot out there and we will speed it up here once the engines warm up settle in and make it to Erie thanks for coming along Well, here we are on Lake Erie, and the conditions were for, you know, less than a foot. However, we were going along at a nice uh, 1,200 RPM, doing about nine miles an hour, and just kind of got miserable, so what we did is stick her up on plane here, about uh, 22, 2300 RPM, doing about 19 miles an hour. Burn a lot of fuel, but they're going to be miserable. Might as well be miserable the least amount of time. <laughs> so the buoys out here say, you know, wave heights of uh, you know less than a foot. But we're occasionally out here, um, occasional two to three. But you know, they're right on our bow, so not bad. We so just stick her up a plane and down the time that we're going to be on Lake Erie here so not as bad as it was a couple days ago we had folks send us pictures of 14 foot waves and uh, you know definitely would not want to be out in that but, uh, today not too bad and I think it's going to uh, kind of look at a little bit more on one of my apps that I use and uh, this area here probably Maybe a little bit worse than uh, down the stream here. So uh, heading west to Erie, Pennsylvania, where we will plan to go into Wolverine Arena. So give you a little update here as we get uh, closer to Dunkirk, which would be kind of about halfway, I guess. Well, we've been up on plane here for about an hour. And off in the distance over there, I don't know where every you can capture it, is Dunkirk. And so for those of you who want to know the coordinates of where we are, we're at about 42.35.1 latitude and longitude of 79.20.8. And uh, a few miles off of the... Uh, 
coast there of uh, coming up on Pennsylvania. So we'll be uh, going down into one more state on our cruise around the loop. One of the things I do is each hour is I kind of ensure that, you know, I'm looking at my gauges and this boat has all analog gauges. So your boat may have electronic gauges and things that will kind of tell you things about the performance of the boat. What I do is I keep this book here called The Dog and in it I have calendar, checklist, um, some forms where I record each hour what the oil pressure is. I'm looking at the temperature, water temperature of each engine. Uh, also taking fuel readings. And because the analog gauges are, you know, they're kind of bouncing around a little bit, one of them bounces around a little bit, um, I'm kind of averaging out the readings, and I do my readings in a 30-second of a tank. So that gauge is important to me, is how many 30 seconds of a tank do I have left in there? And then I have a little chart that I look and see how much fuel I have left in each tank. That also will help me when I decide to fuel, refuel, is I'll know about how many gallons I'm going to put into each tank. It kind of gives you an idea of what's going on. Of course, uh, recording the RPMs and uh, some of the other information I have on my form there. So you could build a form for your particular boat. It just kind of gets you in the habit of looking at everything on your boat, doing a little checklist, checking out the electrics, all that kind of stuff that you can check out on your boat. Conditions have smoothed out since the last time we talked, and uh, you can see, you know, those buoys out there that will give you the wave height and the position are more accurate now, about a point three, really kind of getting flat, and as we get closer to Erie, I expect to uh, Erie, Pennsylvania, I expect to really even smooth out a little bit. So we're going to elect to keep the boat up on plane a little bit, you know, for one more hour, and that will give us a little bit more time when we get to Erie, Pennsylvania, to just kind of relax in the uh, slip there and uh, enjoy the marina. We are rocking and rolling here. Actually, not anymore. It has calmed down out on Lake Erie and I don't know if you've ever seen Lake Erie but it is the most beautiful green. I'm gonna flip this around and show you. Look at that water. It is so beautiful. Just a, a stunning turquoise green color. The kind that should be in the Caribbean but no, nope, it's up here. <laughs> in Lake Erie. Pretty cool, huh? So, I have been back here working on videos and stuff, and Sam up here has been doing some planning, and he just talked to a harbor host, and uh, you want to catch us up on what's yeah, going on? so what's going on, it's, uh, we're about an hour and 50 minutes, one hour and five zero minutes away from getting into uh, Wolverine Marina. Um, like Rev said, it is flattened out. It's beautiful. So we're just enjoying it. Catching up on things that we do while we're going <laughs> this slow, nine miles an hour. Um, Yawn. And, but there's plenty of work to do. It's like looking at the weather, taking a, you know, kind of a guess at planning for the next stops where we should go and my I guess my theory is hey you should move when the weather's good okay and so that's what we're going to do Rev and I discuss that so we'll probably move on to just after one night at Erie um, and then you know taking a look at uh, some other long-range planning things and then also hey we brought some we brought some dumbbells along, so hey, trying who, to get my... Who are you trying to impress here? Trying to get here? my arms in shape here, so kind of doing those every once in a while. Um, and just actually just enjoying the, the scenery here. We're 
I think we're probably at Rev Ask. Have we crossed the state line of Pennsylvania? I don't know. I know that Canada is over that way. <laughs> um, and we may be very close to the state line at uh, Pennsylvania Tech. I think there it is. Maybe that's it. Yeah. So we are officially in sorry, that line there is uh, where Pennsylvania is. So uh, we're officially a uh, beam Pennsylvania as far as uh, Pennsylvania waters go out. And we can see up ahead, about 16 miles up ahead, visibility is pretty good today. We see some smokestacks that are downtown there or on the waterfront. So we'll start thinking about calling the marina here in about 20 minutes and ensuring that we have a place to go, how we're going to tie up and all that. Looking forward to getting in there. Get in there about uh, 2 o'clock, get her tied down and uh, get cleaned up and maybe go out for dinner. Since I had a report from the uh, galley <laughs> that uh, some of the food that we had on board has spoiled. You don't so, have to tell them everything. Yeah, anyway. Uh, so I guess we'll be feeding the fish with some of that uh, spoiled food there. They don't mind. Well, we're about to start our approach into the channel here in Erie. And of course it is a holiday. So there's a lot of boats coming out and I expect we'll see a little bit more boats as we get in here. So it'll be kind of a head on a swivel. It will be a head on a swivel rev. And pretty soon uh, rev will be getting geared up. We've talked to the marina. We've looked at all the notes and active captain. Some of them are pretty old, but um, familiar with the marina here. After having talked to the dock hand twice, two different dock hands, so we're familiar with what's going on there. We're just going to take her slow. Winds are not a factor. We're going to be going into what they call the long wall, and we'll go in there. The depth is about ten and a half feet. We'll tie up. Um, we'll go in bow in and a port tie. So uh, Rev will be ready for that. So we'll talk to you a little bit closer as we get in here. So coming into Presque Isle, the channel here, going into Erie Wolverine Marina, and you can see it is a holiday and there are plenty of boats out. So we're slowed down and paying attention. As a captain, one of the things that you need to be aware of is your first mate duties. <laughs> um, and my first mate, I want her safe at all times, that's primary, and then secondly I want to give her enough time to get her duties done comfortably so she's not rushing. So once we get through this channel here, uh, we'll be making a slight turn to the port and the water should be calm enough there that we can get her out on the uh, Outside of the boat, we're on headset, we'll communicate, and she is going to rig for a port tie. We're going to go bow in. So just be aware of what your first mate has to do. Make sure he or she is comfortable and has enough time, and above all, safe. We are tied down at Wolverine Marina here in Erie, Pennsylvania, right next to Bayshore Marine. It was a pretty easy bow in port tie we had a couple gentlemen come out and help us we have power on the boat our post cruise checklist is done <laughs> so we're about to head up there and settle up with them also get the key to the bathrooms and showers have a nice hot shower maybe talk about what we're going to do tomorrow at dinner which we plan to go and grab dinner at some place here nice in Erie We'll see you next time.